what's good homo squad it's your boy homo ziggy we back here with another reaction and it's been a little minute since we've heard from zach mother loving b mr zach boucher himself nick what a been over two months since we haven't heard from you man for me at least i don't know about y'all but for me at least it's been two months since we've heard from this man and sorry if you see me rubbing my eyes i literally just woke up but we got the mikasa rap fraudling is it fraudline or fr fraudling fraudling slip attack on titans now but yeah like i said it's been a little minute the last song that he ever dropped was with low or so that ellie rap low featuring vinnie new of rocket music so hey now that we back to zach b being one single solo dolo and such hold on you see who put be back on the beat has to it has to be oh look yeah produced mix and mastered by zach b background vocals by shara oh hey man you should have you should have featured shara on this i ain't gonna lie because y'all remember when i reacted to britain boys attack on titans scout cypher and such survey corpse hey she went crazy on her verse for for me mikasa mikasa right yeah mikasa she went crazy on hers so i'm just saying you should have had her as a feature but if you had to do background vocals it is what it is but either way we about to check this out make sure you like comment and subscribe we on the road to 2k follow me on my socials up there and without further ado let's get in the video original link to this will be in the description below Make sure you run it up. Run this up and run that up. Run this video up and run that video up. This video up too. You know what I mean. But let's get that part of me would change if it could. You know the part that feels pain when I start to see your name. If I can throw it all away, then I would. I know that you would say the same. Don't know why you won't explain everything that you were claiming is good. Look, I'd hold you to it. Didn't know the one I trusted would be all over this. Receive that hate that you shouldn't hope you're soaking it in. You try and hide it, you were feeling to that Freudian slip. I might be too dependent on people with bad intentions. Lying and pretend that it's evil, I'm not defending. Avoiding those who tend to be feeble, so condescending with rules that you're bending. We'll meet again when it's at your ending. It was quite the descent that you continue to dig. Hate that I wait. Bro. All I'm gonna say is this at the end of the day, with Zach B's like writing and such. I gotta say, with Zach B, he's like one of the best writers in Nerdcore. I ain't gonna lie. Because it be so intricate. Like, nigga, like I always say, with Zach B, he's like the storytelling rapper in Nerdcore. Because it's not about if he's telling like the entire story of a certain anime character or video game character or whatever the case may be. Is the way how he like writes it so much that it's introspective like you would think like this is the character or hell in a human persp in like the human experience you would think this person has intentions on something good and such whether it's but what basically where you're going to the mind of somebody where whether it's a good guy or bad guy where what they're doing is either right or what they're doing is either wrong is either right or wrong so hey, that's why I always say with Zach B, if you ever want us, if you're ever gonna get somebody who has that like storytelling vibe about them and that perfect like rap voice, you gotta get Zach B on whether it's a song or a cipher. Dependent on people with bad intentions Lying and pretend that it's evil I'm not defending Avoiding those who tend to be feeble So condescending with rules that you're bending We'll meet again when it's at your ending Was quite the descent that you continue to dig Hate that I witnessed you finally give in and turn into this There was no way you would ever listen to me or the rest Just to fulfill your own wish Truth is you're making me sick Honestly dude, this ain't it But came so shameless You know I'm fight back Just please explain this We've lost the old you And I feel it was wasted Do whatever it takes Do what I make you can change this basically with the now basically like that what she he's saying about how we lost you and such talking about how aaron yeager became bad guy now because we thought he was good at first but then 
plot twist like a mother sucker that nigga became evil because he he became he's basically like this Aaron Yeager first started out as the good guy hating on the Titans and such and then ever since that nigga became one he started switching you start to see the switch up of his character and such and with Mikasa you know look let's face it we all know this this girl love this girl love this nigga straight up at one point in the episode and such, I think it was like around season three or so in one of the episodes. When anyhow, Mikasa and Armin, Aaron sitting at the table. Mikasa and, Aaron, Mikasa and Armin are the good persons. Aaron turned bad, right? Tell me why in what Aaron is talking about, right? Mind you, he's the bad guy and Armin is a good guy. Throughout that entire thing when Armin is about to fight Aaron. Tell me why does this girl, knowing that he's bad, and hell, knowing that he just talked shit on her, talk calling her weak or fable or whatever, she's still gonna wanna support this man. I don't know, like, if that don't tell you that this girl is a sub to Aaron and such, submissive to Aaron, but dominates anything else, I don't know what to do. But I maybe could change this one. I'm okay when it's dangerous. Yeah. They and don't want to know even half of what pain is. When they took her home, why not return it and take his? And treat them the same. Turn every bridge into blazes. Part of me would change if it could. You know, the part that feels pain. When I start to speak your name, if I could throw it all away, then I would. And know that you would say the same. Don't know why you won't explain everything that you were claiming. It's good. Look, I'd hold you to it. Didn't know the one I trusted would be hoping for this. I think I hear a shower in the background. You're soaking it in. You try and hide it. You were feeling till that front. How the hell am I still standing? Whoa. Think I've been abandoned. Whoa. Lost everything to hand it. Goddamn, what a cruel planet. Almost like they planned it. Hesitated way too many chances. Felt like I was always ready for it, but they made me into a loose cannon. Ooh. Think I do damage and they don't believe anything I do just cause you can. And always been alone at the peak. I wonder how crews manage. Get it up to me isn't easy. I'ma leave you a strand that I won't take this shoot for granted. No one dare. I felt the feeling was mutual. No one could hold me back and I'm on my own as per usual. Yeah. Life is as cruel as it is. It's basically like this. With Zach B, you know what kind of, like I said before, like we, we, like I've been always saying before, you know a certain rapper is that good of a good rapper that no matter which beat they come on, whether it's a whether it's a R and B type beat, a little cheer up beat, a crazy beat, or like that introspective type beat, or how I like to call it, no matter what beat it is. When they can just go on it and just do their thing and trust me, it gets you it gets you pumped, it gives you like feeling and such. And trust me, with Zach B, you know why he's mostly called the voice of Nerdcore. You can you can say Rustage is like the Rustage is like the mascot for what Nerdcore is, but Zach B got that voice where nigga. This is how you do like good storytelling. Not to say Russians don't probably do that too, but I'm just saying with Zach B, this is where you get that good storytelling and such, right? Where it don't sound like he's talking from like a Wikipedia type vibe. Cause let's be honest. I'm not saying nothing's it's basically like this. If you're making it too and if it's too much anime based and such, it's not gonna be a good song. For not only the anime fans but also the casual listeners who wants to hear like even if you're gonna do an anime rap or so at least let it be a song where you can find like different like experience and such like you can actually see that happening in the real world and such so yeah but with zach b he knows how to balance he he's like one of the many nerdcore artists who can balance between making it be anime based and Human experience based. And they don't believe anything I do just cause you can And always been alone at the peak I wonder how crews manage Catching up to me isn't easy I'ma leave you a strand that I won't take this shoot for granted No doubt yeah. I thought the feeling was mutual No one could hold me back And I'm on my own as per usual yeah. Life is as cruel as it is beautiful With no one do that I wasn't used to being delusional 
Just took a while for me to realize it I could not believe what they were theorizing It was so surprising to find out the truth of who you're hiding Let me close my eyelids Just to have a moment of silence That part of me would change if it could You know, the part that feels pain When I start to speak your name If I could throw it all away, then I would Yeah, I hear you, Shara I hear you in the background, Shara You won't explain everything that you were claiming is good Look, I know you do it Didn't know the one I trusted would be hoping for I'm just saying, Shara should have had a verse on it, because I know she would have killed her. Man, Zach, you should have had her as a feature. Because I can hear her in the hook where you're saying, but I'm just, but bro. Shout out to the queen, Shara, the Miss Elliot of Nerdcore. But I'm just saying, you should have put her as a feature on this song, my nigga. You should have put her as a feature. Because I know she would have went, because like I said, the way how she went crazy on that Sapphire for Breton. She could have come crazy right here, but it is what it is. But that's time to do that. Look, I told you to it. Didn't know the one I trusted would be hoping for this. Receive the hate that you should and hope you're soaking it in. You're trying hard, you are feeling until that Freudian slip. Shout out to Mac on the beat. Hold on, let me fade this out. And get it out. I can talk to y'all and such. Hold on, y'all. But hey, I gotta say, shout out to. Like I said, it's been a little minute since we heard Zach be in such, and I gotta say, so like he. Well, it's not like he's ever, never stopped had it. The man always kills in it. So I gotta say, with Zach B, shout out to him, man. Shout out to Mac on the beat again. And shower for the background vocals, cause I could hear her in the hook and such. A little bit of her, at least turn her up a little bit. That's all I'm saying. But either way, hopefully y'all enjoyed this reaction and such. And if you made it to the end of the video, comment down below. Comment down below, scarf. <laughs> and that no, actually, comment down below, submissive, cause we like I said, we know the old. Aaron and Mikasa, trust me, y'all cannot tell me there ain't no freaking shipment between them two. Because I know damn well y'all was, I know damn well when people was watching Attack on Titan and see always Aaron and Mikasa have a moment here and there. Y'all know damn well y'all was putting up some ships about them too. But either way, like I said, if you made it to the end, comment down below, submissive. But either way... It's been your boy Honda with Ziggy signing out. We're on the road to 2K. Like I say, original link to this will be in the description below. Check out my other reactions right here. Stay positive. Keep the vibes up. Let go. Sorry. <laughs> Let go.